Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Madhav Prabhu, Director of Clinical Services in KLU Hospital. And I'm here to speak about you on Venudvani 90.4 FM. I'm here to speak about heart attacks, especially those happening in the young. Recently, there has been a huge outrage about people collapsing and dying at a very young age. The message that I want to give you is that all of these attacks or these collapses that are happening is not only heart attack. See, the heart has three different systems. One is the conduction system. It's like the electricity. You know, it supplies conduction, it supplies the waves to the heart. And maybe sometimes the conduction system or the electrical circuit is at fault. And then we have something known as arrhythmia or a disturbance in the rhythm of the heart. Secondly, the most common cause that is heart attacks is the coronary vascular problems. That means there are certain blood vessels which supply blood to the heart. Now these blood vessels can be blocked and when they are blocked, the supply to the heart is stopped and this causes disturbance in the pumping action of the heart. This is the classical myocardial infarction or the heart attack that we speak about. And the third thing is that there could be some problems with the muscles of the heart itself. So heart is a pump, it has muscles which will help pumping and some of these muscles may sometimes undergo problems and that can also lead to sudden cardiac deaths. For example, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy that is HOCM. So when we talk about heart attacks or collapses as such, there are all of these three reasons. Now why are heart attacks more common in the young in these days? That's because of our lifestyle. See, we have come very far away from our diet. We used to previously have food which was healthy. Right now, most of our diet is processed food. Most of our diet is fast food. Most of the oils that we are using now are not the same oils that we our ancestors used. Uh, most of the times we are having more of salt intake. For the fast foods, there's a lot more of salt that we have. There are addictions like smoking, alcohol, which is more common. And you know what? Uh, this smoking is a much bigger problem in females because uh, when compared to males, if a female has alcohol, she is much more at risk of heart attacks when compared to males. Like we had uh, Miss Jarewal who died recently, there are certain pharma products and you know beauty products that are being used which are supposed to be antioxidants but when taken in the wrong doses and by the wrong routes can also cause cardiac disease. Most importantly, there is stress. There is work stress. There is, we work for long hours. We are not sleeping well. Deprivation of sleep is also one cause for heart attack. So we see reels all night, Facebook, Netflix, we have parties. This does not allow our body to heal. You know, sleep is the time when the body heals. And since we are depriving the body of this time to heal, the heart gets tired and you can have heart attacks. Apart from this, we do not have good relationships. Marriages, there are divorces which are common. We don't make friends. We make friends on social media rather than going and meeting them in person. This is where our social interactions are going down. And this has put us under severe emotional stress. All these factors together are combining and causing an increased risk of heart attack in the young. Now, we have to also understand that all these reasons are not going to cause, or these are not permanent and we can modify them. So, How do we modify them? Well, take care, don't indulge into habits, moderate your alcohol, stop smoking, take less of stress. If you have a lot of stress, do something like yoga or meditation which can prevent stress. Uh, you can talk with somebody, make new friends, talk with them, discuss, discuss about your problems, about your stress and this will reduce your stress. Eat healthy food, fresh food that is cooked at home. This will reduce the cholesterol and other oily things. If you are 40 and above, go to your doctor every once or twice, one or two years. Get your blood pressure, sugar and ECG done. That will reduce the risk of sudden deaths. Keep yourself free, enjoy yourself, have some hobbies that you can indulge in, take your mind off the work that and the stress that is there all the time. Don't worry about vaccines and COVID. Uh, we are not given the vaccines which have caused cardiac diseases, that is the RNA vaccines in India. So these are the things that you can modify, which will to some extent keep you healthy and prevent heart attacks. Thank you. Dwani, dwani,